Okay, hey YouTube, as you can see, I have a lot of freaking shoes. And I recently got the um, the Creepers. Well, I have a bunch of the Rihanna Creepers or whatever. But the ones that I got today, that just came in today, I just ordered them two days ago. How lit is that? I was like, dang, this shipping is fast. The shipping's on point. Um, but the ones that I got today are the um, Rihanna Creepers with the, with the cleated bottom or whatever. Um, I ended up getting the brown ones and the black ones. And they are right here. And this box is heavy, y'all. So if you ever got some of her creepers or any of her shoes in general, you know that it comes in a black box like this where it says Fenty. And all the information's on this side. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I kind of do have I kind of have a big foot. Not really a big foot, but I do have a wide foot. Um, the good thing about her shoes is that they do run big, so I always get a half size down. I really wear a nine, but I end up getting an eight and a half. And this is how you like, you know, get the shoes out. You gotta like slide it up. I think that's really cute and it's different. Cause a lot of companies, a lot of people that make shoes don't have that. So these are the black ones with the cleated bottom. And one thing about her shoes, these are suede. Um, they do stretch out. So yeah, I have yet to try these on. I'm gonna go ahead and slip them on so I can see what it looked like on my foot. But I like her shoes because they are very, 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 very comfortable. Um, I noticed with my okay, so I do have the beige, I do have the beige um Rihanna Creepers right here. And don't judge, because I these like when they first came out, probably like a year ago. And the thing with them is my little Puma sign is like starting to fade off. I'm like, dang. But um, these do stretch out. And those look really busted, but I wear them with everything. Put these on. And really with these, I probably could have did an 8. I can feel it. I really could have did an 8. And this is what they look like. I almost definitely could have did an 8. So you can probably go a size down. Uh, it just depends on your foot. Yeah, I probably should do one. I don't know. Now that I stand up, I can feel that my toe is at the front of the shoe. Hmm. I really like them though. They're so cute. And I like how like platformy they are. Because usually, of course, it wouldn't have this pleated bottom. It would just stop like right there. But I really like those. And plus, it's a good all black shoe. So now I'm about to unbox the um, brown ones really quick and I did get these together and they are on the Puma website um, I ended up paying $3.20 and I got free shipping and I forgot to mention that when you do open it you will see that this will be on the top a little duster bag or whatever so you can put your shoes in when you're traveling and if you don't want anything to touch your shoes and what I like about her shoes is that you get one of these for every you know pair of shoes you buy and these one looks like this called like a brown copper beige I don't know on the I think on here it says bait no. On here it says golden brown. So yeah, it's golden brown. I also got these in an eight and a half. And it's the same material, of course, in suede. The little emblem is obviously brown. You can barely see it. But yeah, these are really cute. They smell, they smell weird though. Kind of stank. But yeah. And I did want to talk about the other shoes that I got. Um, just because it's kind of weird because like where I'm from, which is Greensboro, North Carolina, North Carolina in general, like I'm pretty sure LA, somebody can go get these without having to order them online. They can just walk to the store and get them. But here, we just can't do that because, I don't know, we're just not exclusive enough. Like I think DTLR might have them in this one store called Social Status. But if you're not hip, then it's a dub. You know what I mean? That's why I'm kind of doing this review. 
So I'm going to go in and talk about the other shoes that I got. Okay, y'all, I wanted these little sandals so freaking bad. I don't even know what she even calls, the, calls these, but I went to um L.A. recently, and yeah, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I've seen these. I ended up getting these in, I believe, a nine and a half, because the make of these are kind of weird. If you ever go online, I think she still has some up, but I don't believe it's on the Puma website. I forgot what website I've seen that still had them, but um, where might be the Puma website? Maybe I'm just tripping. But everybody always complains about the sizing. You do have to go a size up. Like I said, usually I'm a nine. I can fit an eight and a half, depending on what shoe it is. Um, but I do have to go a size up and get a nine and a half, just because right here, if you have a wide foot, you're gonna struggle with this area right here. Like, cause there is no stretch at all. Like there is no stretch. But all, all I love these. I feel like they're just so cute and they're very different. Um. And I actually wear these with a bunch of different things. Only thing about it is they did get kind of dirty in the front, which y'all cannot tell because my light is so freaking bright. But they did get kind of dirty in the front, but it's cool. I'm pretty sure I can like get it off with something. But yeah, I love these shoes a lot. And one thing about them is they are comfortable. I go lie, they are heavy for some freaking sandals though. But yeah, that's just a tip. Go a size up because sneakers go a size down half size down um, when it comes to these you can go a half size up for sure just for um, your foot to be comfortable but yeah so if you're thinking about getting them I do believe that they're on sale right now so I forgot what website it is but once I find out I will most definitely link it down below okay these sold out so fast y'all these are the red velvet Rihanna creepers and literally I wear these with everything as well. As you can see, I get a lot of neutral colors. This brown, I don't know what I'm going to wear with that brown, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, I wear these with everything. I feel like it's such a cute sneaker for the winter with the red velvet. Like, the velvet, who can miss out on this? Like, and it's mad cute. And instead of having Puma embedded, like, on the side, she just has, like, a little tag right here that just says Puma. Which I like because, like I said, with the rest of my sneakers that I have that are Creepers, I see that the more they get worn, the you can barely see the Puma. And I don't want anybody going around thinking that I'm over here rocking fake Pumas. Not saying anything is wrong with that. But if I pay good money, $160 for a Creeper, you're going to know that they're actually Creepers. I'm just saying. I have to throw it out there. That's the only thing I do not like about the other ones but I do like how this little tag right here um but yeah I really rock these with everything I love these shoes so these are most if you can find these I don't I think they are dead stock y'all I'm gonna be honest with y'all but if you can find them get them it's worth it but yeah I absolutely love these shoes I can wear it with this I can rock it with anything so yeah y'all it's litty put that back up there but yes I hope you guys enjoyed this little review of the Rihanna Creepers and just her shoes in general um I really don't think I even seen a lot of reviews about the shoes but I just wanted to come on here and like you know give y'all heads up about the sizing the material how they look in person like I said especially for us people down south that have a hard time even getting our hands on a pair of those shoes when it's not online you know um so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, thumbs it up and also subscribe to my channel.